What's up, everybody? It is Luca Brasi. For the fitness snippet today, okay, I want to talk quickly about not reaching your goal, but what to do once you reach your goal, maintaining your goal, okay? Because especially when it comes to things, 90% of the people that I've trained in my fitness career have come to me for one thing, and that's weight loss, okay? Some people come for toning, some people come for accountability, some people come just so they can make sure they get to the gym, some people want to build muscle, some people, there's all different goals, but the one thing that remained constant was I always had weight loss people, okay? So I'm going to use that just as the example for this, okay? Just because, it, like I said, 90% of the people you're going to see at the gym are trying to lose weight and tone out, okay? Very few people are actually trying to really, really build and get big, okay? A lot of, some guys do, okay? But overall, okay, the majority of people that go to the gym are trying to lose, to lose weight and tone up and maintain a healthy weight and stuff. So hypothetically speaking, um, you know, I, I, let's just say you have a weight loss person that wants to lose, say, 50 pounds, okay? First things first, okay? I always say if you have a goal, okay, especially a weight loss goal, so let's say you got 50 pounds you want to lose, before you start incorporating things like cheat meals and things like that, I always say get at least halfway there first. So 50 pounds, when you lose 25 and you're on a good roll and you know you can incorporate a cheat meal here without backsliding, okay, and going back to old habits, then I say do it. But first thing you want to do is build the habits, build the good habits, which is getting in the gym and eating correctly. Sleep patterns have to be good. Stress levels have to be at bay. Get those things under control before you start trying to mess around with other things. But when you lose that 50 pounds, OK, or whatever the goal is, once you get there, learning how to maintain it is the hard part. OK, because then you have to figure out not what do I have to do to lose weight or to build muscle or whatever. I'm at the size I want to be. Now, what do I have to do to maintain it? OK, and that's the hardest part, because the human body's funny. It wants to go up. It wants to go down. It doesn't want to maintain. So finding that balance of food and nutrition intake, uh, exercise, OK, and sleep patterns and things like that, especially your food intake and your and your exercising. OK, those are the other things you really have to understand and get. Uh, once you reach that goal, because then you have to go into maintenance mode. You've made it to your goal. So now what do you have to do to maintain? And that's one of the harder, hardest things to do, because when you're losing weight, that your, your body, especially if a lot of weight to lose, your body wants to flush that weight out anyway. When you want to maintain, OK, that's where the real work starts. So I just want to leave you with that, folks. OK, so make sure when you get to your goal, OK, you learn how to maintain it. OK, speak with a professional, talk to talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about so they can explain to you how to maintain, because that's where the real work starts. So that's it for today, folks. I will see you guys. Hold on. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I'll see, see you guys next week. This is Luca Brasi signing out. Peace and pal.